Um, so guys, thanks for joining us. I'm sure more people, they always jump on <laughs> in the middle of, uh, of the class, but I think that the reason like me and Kevin had talked about this class and it's so important because we see agents all the time. Hey Scott, um, we see agents all the time putting out photos that they took on their poorly lit cell phone. And while you still can sell a house in this market with bad photos, how much better is it when you can show your clients that you have professional photos, whether you do them yourselves, whether you hire someone, the drone footage is incredibly important. And even doing the video walkthroughs, either with a professional or by yourself, it really sets your homes apart in this market because as we all know, uh, not everybody is out looking in person right now still. And so just getting used to the fact that make sure every listing that you're putting out, that it is fully ready for somebody to buy sight unseen. And the more photos and drone and video walkthroughs that you can do with all of your properties, that's just going to set you apart. And I'll tell you, the reason I do it, even if you know that you've got that you know, three bedroom, two bath pool home in Palm Harbor that is priced below market and you know it's gonna sell in a matter of five minutes. It just puts your best foot forward and shows other sellers in the area, here's what I do for my clients no matter what. Just because we're in a hot market doesn't mean you should skimp on your marketing and it all starts with photos. So Blake is here and he is gonna walk you guys through um, some tips, some staging tips, getting ready for photos. And then at the end, he's gonna tell you about his company because they have a big company, um, or at least I think you guys, are, your, your reach is broad. <laughs> so what yeah, I should yeah, say, I know you guys go all the way to Orlando and he'll tell you guys about what his company does and if you want to utilize his services after this, that would be awesome. But Blake, you go ahead and introduce yourself and take it over from here. Awesome. Thank you so much. So my name is uh, Blake, uh, representing Fabre Frameworks. Uh, I'm the VP of Sales and Operations uh, for this company. Uh, just a quick background on the company. Um, two brothers, uh, Manny and Sean Fabre, uh, they started the company four years ago. Uh, one doing drone photos and the other doing camera photos and then they put it together and, and, and developed a pretty good packages uh, for, for realtors. Uh, fast forward four years later, uh, we have 27 employees. Uh, we're in Jacksonville, Orlando, Tampa, Sarasota, and we just expanded to uh, Naples, Fort Myers, and uh, Miami um, actually this week. So uh, in most of the major cities in Florida, uh, that's kind of our goal right now is to, to dominate Florida. Uh, but what I'm going to do here this morning for you guys is uh, I'm going to go over the first step of photography, and that's how to get the how to prepare the home, uh, how to get that ready uh, for staging, and and how to make that first impression the best impression uh, for for the majority of buyers. Uh, and then I'll go over some quick stats on the importance of professional photography, uh, whether it's with us, hopefully it's with us, or if it's you know any other professional photography. And then I'll talk about a little bit um, about our, our, our offerings and, and, and our company. So um, hopefully that sounds good to everybody and I'll, I'll kind of dive in here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share my screen. Let's see here. All right, is that the presentation in, for, in front of everybody? Yes. Awesome, okay. So step one, um, how to properly stage a home for photos. So every so often, every so often we get asked the questions, what do I do? What do I have to do to make my home sell quickly? So we're gonna go, we're gonna go area by area in the home and just kind of quick tips on, on what's gonna make, make the home look the best. So. Um, besides selling views, real estate photography is extremely simple. Uh, potential buyers want to purchase space. So it's our job as photographers to capture the space uh, and draw buyers in, which allows you guys to negotiate and sell the property. Where do we start? So the bedroom. Um, in the bedroom, we want to portray the perfect bedroom picture, and that's an atmosphere of relaxation. And the one thing that, that all, we always seem kind of to get in the way is, is clutter. Um, it's real important and it all seems so straightforward, but you know, 
in the hustle and bustle of every day and how, how quickly we're trying to get these homes listed and everything. Um, you know, it's always good to kind of take a step back and put a little time in, you know, up front so that we can, again, make sure that first impression is, is the best impression. Um, so, you know, make sure that the bed has been made and the edge of the comforter is not sticking out. You know, anything, we want everything to be real, you know, nice and tight and clean. Um, if you have, you know, tons of decorative pillows, I know you want to showcase all the fancy expensive pillows that, you know, we may or may not have bought. Just keep it simple, you know, couple pillows, couple decorative pillows. We want, we want to, we want everything to seem as wide open as possible. We're selling the space. That's what we got to, you know, constantly remind ourselves. Um, a nightstand on each side, just simple decoration, um, flat surfaces, you know, and, and, and most homes, they always seem to collect wallets, keys, magazines, you know, clocks, just keep it real, real simple, simple nightstand, maybe a flower. Um, again, you know, my last point there, dressers were, were not made to act as shelves, just a couple decorative pieces. It goes a long, long way to keep this, these, these spaces nice and clean. Um, and rugs, rugs are just always seem to be kind of an eyesore. So not, not necessarily an area rug, but just those small rugs, whether it's, you know, right into the bathroom, they always send, you know, tend to curl up and, you know, on different corners. So a lot of times it's just, it's just nice and nice and clean. Just get rid of them. The bathroom, the forgotten room of the home that plays a pivotal role in the sale of a home. On average, a person spends 92 days in a bathroom in his or her lifetime. Um, it's a very important room, so don't neglect it. Um, decorative soap containers and bar soap holders can be displayed near the sink. Um, again, we want those to be nice and clean. Um, you know, everything is supposed to be nice and clean in these photos. Um, toothbrushes. A lot of times we'll see those toothbrush holders right, right next to there. Let's get rid of them. Um, hygiene products are typically perceived with distaste and exudes a negative reaction from the viewer. So that bathroom right there, you know, it, it, that's a lot of plant, you know, that's a lot of plants in that small bathroom. So I, you know, I'd, I'd even say that we could get rid of a couple of those and just keep it nice and clean and, and, and make that space as open and wide as possible. Uh, plungers, definitely, we definitely don't want to see any plungers in any toilets or other cleaning equipment. Um, the shower, um, you know, nothing needs to be in the shower. Nobody cares what kind of shampoo you're using or, or body wash. So let's just get rid of all that stuff. Make sure the tub's nice and clean. Um, you know, we, we like opening that shower curtain up to, to showcase the nice backsplashes and, you know, cool, um, you know, faucet heads and, and all that stuff. So um, while leisure, leisurely relaxing in the bathtub, we want to realize that this area could become someone's sacred temple. This area should be decorated with some candles um, that's, that's always, that's always a, a nice little piece that you can put if, if you want to put something, um, you know, candles and stuff can, can, can look nice there. Hey Blake, um, could I yes, add something quick about the bathrooms? Yeah, for sure. So I think that it's bathrooms, kitchens, wherever, because I think there's some newer agents on here. I just want to point out, I think the best tool for an agent when they're getting ready for their photos is a laundry basket. I take a laundry basket before photos and I put all of their stuff, um, their shampoos, their soaps, their dish bottles, like he'll get to the kitchen in a second, anything on kitchen counters basically that are everyday things and you can't put in cabinets. I carry around the wash basket so that I can remove all of those cluttered items and then put them back when I'm done. Uh, but it yeah. is easier when you have something that you can rinse out because those soaps can actually get everywhere and they're kind of gross of, you know, spilling. So just wanted to add that in there that I love carrying a wash basket everywhere to clear clutter. That's a, that's a great, great best practice. So our photographers, you know, a lot of times it's, it's a lot of stuff for, for agents and, and, and um, sellers to, to go through and collect all that stuff. So, um, and like you said there, it's a, it's a perfect idea to carry a little, you know, container or receptacle. That way you can get all the extra stuff. Um, it's, it's amazing what, what, how these countertops and, and, and spaces can look when they're, when they're clean. When mm -hmm. they're cluttered up like that, it's going to make them look a lot smaller with eyesores. Um, so nice and clean counters are, are, are perfect. So thank you so much. That's a great best practice. Um, we'll move into the kitchen now. Um, 
So any, any television should be removed and hid in the pantry. Uh, the clutter of miscellaneous appliances can create less advantage and advantageous effect on counter space perception. So we just spoke about that a little bit. Um, you know, a microwave, if there's not a microwave mounted somewhere, a microwave would be okay to, to you know, showcase there. But, you know, you know toaster ovens, coffee makers, um, bread makers, you know, any of those other types of appliances that aren't, you know, your major appliances, just get rid of them for the photos. That way we can showcase how, how big the countertop space is um, and, and how open everything can look. Um, cutting, cutting boards are a nightmare. Um, you know, I, I've worked in the restaurant industry throughout my life and um, cutting boards, I mean, you just, it's, it's so hard to keep them clean and, and looking nice. Um, so, you know, any cutting board that's gonna have any kind of discoloration, if it's not purely like a decorative piece, get rid of it. Um, you know, I, I can't stress enough how, how, how much you wanna maintain clear space on these, on these countertops, uh, no matter where it is throughout the house. Um, small containers increasing in size are perfectly fine to have. You know, a lot of people have the salt, flour, uh, sugar, you know, decorative containers, and those, those sometimes can look pretty cool. Um, let's see here. Yeah, the bowl of fruit. So this is, this is one that uh, in a lot of cultures, a bowl of fruit is a symbol of, um, it's, a, it's an offering to visitors. So, um, you know, whether it's apples or, you know, like in this picture looks like a pineapple and I don't even know, but bowl of fruit is, is in a lot of cultures, uh, it's, it's, a, it's an offering symbol. So um, that's always perfectly fine. And, and I know that's kind of a staple throughout a lot of places. So I'll just read the bottom headline here. The ambitious chef's office. This room holds some of the highest authority when, with potential buyers when purchasing or scouting for a new home. Uh, we should have special attention when prepping it for a real estate photography session. The living room. As the main areas of entertainment, these rooms, all, although very different in use, are still very similar in the cleanup and staging aspect. These rooms, being the largest of any other rooms in the home, have to appear as such. Um, we all know the living room is, you know, the primary spot in which people hang out and, and, and live in their house. That's why it's called the living room. Um, so again, we want, it, we want it to be as big and as open as possible. So any of, the, any of the clutter with the, you know, the magazines and all the extra books and, you know, it, it just seems, seems to be kind of a, a collecting spot for, for a, lot of, a lot of miscellaneous items. Um, so again, moral of the story, keep it clean and clear. Uh, family portraits uh, should be alleviated from their positions. Um, one, of the main, one of the main things you wanna think about when you're, when you're prepping a home is, um, and I, I'm, I'm a big sports guy, so I'll kind of go, you know, a sports reference here. Um, you know, Green Bay Packers, if you're a huge Green Bay Packers fan and you have Green Bay Packers, you know, stuff everywhere, if a Bears fan comes in to look at the home, they might already have a slight, you know, prejudice in their head about that home just because they don't like the Packers. And so I, I, I use that kind of silly example, but um, you, you take that and you just broaden it way out. Um, you don't want to, you don't want to um, shrink in your buyer size just by any type of anything that you have in your home. So, uh, you know, family portraits, you want to go away. Um, any, any sports mem memorabilia, if it's not, you know, extremely decorative, you might want that to go away. Um, so just, it's, it's just easier, easier not to have that. They don't, they don't really care who they're, who they're buying it from. They just, they, you know, they're, they're buying the space. Uh, let's see, so do we have to put, end tables can be a cluttered nightmare. Um, these tables should only ever have a lamp or a vase on them while we take the photographs. They're end tables and not a remote rack or drink table. And then the coffee table, um, you know, it's another countertop that can collect a lot of things. Uh, a lot of people will put a couple nice wine glasses and an unopened bottle of wine or, you know, a couple magazines and some reading glasses. So a little bit of decoration is obviously fine and, and we, we, we want that and need that there but just the endless clutter that, that happens in most homes, uh, we gotta avoid that. 
the office or a study, um, these are definitely collecting grounds uh, and houses. So um, make sure that we have all sensitive documentation um, secured. We don't want anybody seeing anything that, that, they, that they shouldn't be seeing. Um, you'll have a lot of showings and strangers walking through. So again, you just want to make sure that you don't have any sensitive information. Um, all the all the wires from your monitors, printers, uh, you know, computers, laptops, all the different chargers. Let's get rid of all those the, the web of wires. That's that's just that's an eyesore, um, and it's something that is, that's not going to be in the house. But we don't want somebody to see that, and it just kind of deter their thinking a little bit. Um, and yeah, and printers printers need to go. Um, it's just as 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 empty and as clear and, and clean as we can make the homes the better uh la i think last but not least yeah last but not least is the curb appeal um this is this is the most important part of a listing um and for for the newer agents that may or may not know the mls listing they only allow an exterior photo as their first photo um so just like when they're driving up you know into the driveway and the first thing they see that's that's that curb appeal um, it's the very first impression that you're going to get. So you need to make sure that you put your best foot forward. Um, so let's cut the grass. Let's, let's not have, let's not have, you know, grass uncut in the yard, unkempt. Um, it, it, it shows, it shows that, you know, we're taking care of the outside. So the inside's definitely going to be getting taken care of. Uh, we're playing a, a major psychological game of selling. Uh, when you're selling your home, you want everybody to see the, a nice, nice landscape, you know, nice paint outside. And they're like, man, this house looks super sharp. I can't wait to see the inside and see how sharp everything is on the inside. Um, you know, you, I, I, I can't stress enough that, you, you know, you spend money to make money with, with the just small investments uh, and these, these curb appeals. So getting the grass cut, maybe mulching, um, just, you know, very small investments can go a long way in the, in the, in the psyche of, of your buyers. So most of gardens and flower beds, uh, landscaping is a key component with the presentation. If you have overgrown weeds and out of control hedges, uh, let's get those taken care of. And even something as small as, you know, power washing the exterior of the home or the driveway just to get those oil stains or dirt stains. You know, it rains a lot in Florida. So as it's raining right in those the edging, all that dirt gets pushed up onto the sidewalk and driveway. Let's get it taken out of there. Uh, that way we can have our best foot forward and, and have everything looking nice and nice and clean. So I ruined the surprise a little bit by advancing before, but congratulations. Today is the day for your real estate photography session and your home is in tip top shape. All your hard work has finally paid off. Your home has abundance of showings and the realtor, you guys get to sell your home very quickly. This was made possible because of you and you made your home photo ready. So does anybody have, I'm gonna kind of back out here so I can see everybody again. Um, does anybody have any questions at this point um, about anything, any tips or tricks of showing the homes? Nope. Nope. Okay. Well, cool. I'm going to jump, I'm going to jump in and uh, kind of go over uh, a little bit more about our, our company and what we have to offer. And we'll go over some stats of uh, professional photography versus um, amateur photography. So we've talked about it. We've talked about it a lot so far. Um, first impressions are everything. So how important are photos and videos to you and your clients? People are visual. So according to the NAR, 95% of buyers search for their dream home on the internet. So what are they looking at? If, if, if I'm looking at a home on the internet, what am I looking at? I'm looking at the photos. So why, why people would not want to, you know, have great photography for their homes? I, I don't know because people are, I mean, it's, it's, it's a stat, it's a fact, it's 2020. People are looking at it online, whether it's the MLS, where you guys are given kind of drip leads to, whether it's Zillow or all those other agencies, Redfin, you know, all of them, it's all on the internet. 
76% of home buyers started their home search using a mobile device. Again, and, and it leads me to my next stat, what are they looking at? Six, buyers spend 60% of their time looking at the photos and only 20% on the listing description and the agent description. So, you know, in most cases on average, a 3-2 is a 3-2, a 2-2 two two is a 2-2, two two, a 4-2, you know, we get it. That, that's, that's the verbiage that they're gonna be reading. What's gonna di differentiate those different two twos from the other two twos are the photos. We, we need to see what the home is and we need to see how it's laid out. Um, so the photos are just the, uh, at the utmost importance that you gotta have for your listings. Listings with professional photographs sell 32% faster, uh, spending only 89 days on the market compared to 123 for other homes. And then homes with high quality photos, they receive 47% higher asking price per square foot. So the, I mean, these are pulled, these, these stats are pulled straight from the National Association of Realtors. Um, it's, it's, it's unbelievable how many listings you'll still see uh, with just somebody going through real quickly on their cell phone and taking some photos. And, and I understand that there, there are some properties that that's more than enough for. Um, but if you're selling a, if you're selling a, you know, a nice home, um, you know, at, at, at a good price point, I mean, professional photography and, and as, uh, as we were talking about earlier, um, you know, Matterports and video walkthroughs, now more than ever through these COVID times, there's been kind of a, a major shift um, in technology that people want more than just photos now. They want those videos, they want those Matterports because it allows them to immerse themselves in those homes without being there. Um, it's a, they're, they're 24 seven open houses. Um, I mean, you literally get to walk through the home at, at, as, you know, like a Google Street View, for if anybody that's unfamiliar with the Matterport. And I'll talk a little bit more about that um, as we get there. So why use Fabre Frameworks as your go-to photographer? Um, these are screenshots straight from our Facebook and straight from, from Google. So 4.9 stars out of five uh, based on 75 people on Facebook and then 4.9 stars uh, based on 208 Google reviews. So, I mean, this is feedback from our clients. Um, that's just direct feedback. I, I, we, I can't stress how important customer service is in, in our model. Um, this model was based off of customer service. Obviously, if I'm providing a product, I got to make sure that, you know, that you're completely satisfied. And, you know, if it takes going out to get a reshoot or just one room, you know, we go above and beyond and we make sure that everything is done right the first time. And if not, we're going to make, we're going to take care of it. We're going to take care of it. We, we want you to have the best um, experience possible. So quick question. I, I know a lot of people are on mute. I'm not going to open it up, but you know, which, which photo is more appealing. So this, the photo on the left, while it's still a, you know, a, a decent looking photo, um, it was taken on the, the brand new like iPhone 11. So that's, that's the highest, best quality camera photo or phone, phone photo that you can get. And then we took the exact same photo from, from the same angle uh, with, with our camera and through our editing process. And, um, and that's what we get. So we work directly uh, with the MLS and their, their ever-changing standards. Um, we, we keep the photos, we size them. Uh, we size them as big as we can uh, for the MLS. So we, we have those readily sized for you. So it's, it's, it's super seamless. Uh, we send a Dropbox link with all your photos. Um, so you just download those photos and literally input them into the MLS. It's a very, very seamless process. Um, I mean, it's very apparent how, you know, the difference in these photos, you know, we, we, that photo was taken when the sky wasn't necessarily the best. So we can put a nice blue uh, clear, you know, clear sky up there, you know, just brighten up the grass a little bit. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that, that can be done with these photographs um, just to, to make them look better and uh, center them up and crop them up. And, um, and, and we do all that. We do all that for you. This is going to be, it's just a quick promo of our drone video. Um, so we, we provide top of the line videography. Uh, we use HDR photography, not flash. Um, all of our uh, all of our photographers are Part 107 certified through the FAA, so we have all required documentation and licenses for all of our photographers. Um, I'll get into this here.
we live we live in the, in the Bay Area, uh, so those, those last little drone shots that you saw saw of the beach and the water, um, it's it's if you have any type of water feature, those drone shots are so important. Um, and with with every one of our packages, any any one of our photo packages, we we provide free drone aerial photos. So you'll get five to ten free drone drone aerial photos um, with with any photo package that that we have to offer. Um, so going into our Matterport, uh, I spoke a little bit about that earlier. Um, our deluxe Matterport package, it, it includes a branded and unbranded link of the Matterport. Um, we do our camera interior, exterior photos. We do aerial drone photos and uh, drone video. Uh, we provide a, a single property website, which I'll show you in just one second. And then um, with the Matterport, the deluxe Matterport package, we provide a 2D floor plan. So um, that Matterport camera, um, it actually builds a 3D model of the home. Um, and from that 3D model, it can output um, a 2D floor plan. Um, so there's no need to measure the rooms or any of that um, when you're doing the Matterport because that, that, uh, that comes with that. So this is a little video going through the single property website. It hosts all your media in one, one page. Um, so what you can kind of see right here in that screenshot of the, the yellow home, um, we can either do a, a video at the top or we can do just a photo at the top. Um, so as I, as I click forward here, you'll see uh, the video at the top. You can see the price, kind of quick stats, and it'll, it'll take through the rest of the, and we'll, we'll click into a Matterport uh, in, that, in that video. So it's got all your description, your amenities, going into a virtual tour, which, which is our Matterport. Like in any, any drone video or, or video walkthrough, we can be put in there. And then just below that, we have all the photos. We can do an automatic slideshow or we can just click through them. I mean, look at those drone photos on that water. You have your 2D floor plan downstairs, upstairs. So pretty cool, pretty cool stuff there. And it's, it's a great spot to just have all your information in one spot. Um, you can push the branded or unbranded. Um, it really just kind of your options are, your options are endless. Um, this is another newer technology. I hope everybody's seen this uh, virtual staging. So if you have a vacant home, um, and just kind of want to be able to showcase uh, what can be done in that room. Uh, we have a couple ladies in the office that they absolutely love doing this. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's a very, uh, bring, you know, brings out their creative side, but you can see the vacant photos on the left and what this virtual staging can look like on the right. So anybody that's having trouble imagining a space or if there's one, one or two or, you know, certain rooms that, you know, as you're showing a home, you know, folks just kind of don't necessarily understand, you know, how that space can be utilized. Uh, you can always call us up. Um, we can take, we can take uh, any photographer's photo and virtually stage. Uh, we don't necessarily, you know, promise the exact quality. Uh, I mean, we, we understand how to shoot for this virtual staging. Um, so uh, we, we can take other, you know, photographer's photographs and stage them. Uh, we just prefer obviously taking them. Uh, that way we know that the quality is going to be there. So we're not just a real estate photography company. We also do weddings. Uh, we just did a big uh, um, headshot happy hour last Friday, which was really cool. We had a lot of people coming in and uh, we did some discounted headshots, but uh, we, 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 we do a ton of headshots. If, if you need, you need yours updated, we'd love to help you out. And we also do some food photography as well. This will go a little bit into our pricing. Um, so photography up to 1500 square foot, it's $125. Um, 
again, that's going to come with, you know, roughly 30 interior, exterior, and then we'll provide five to 10 uh, drone aerials with those. Uh, again, every pack, every photo package and Matterport package, they come with free drone aerials. Um, this Matterport package here on the right, this is the deluxe, which is what I was, uh, we had that slide on earlier. It comes with your, your Matterport, your interior, exterior photos, you get your drone, drone photos and drone video, you get your single property website, and um, you get the 2D floor plan. Um, and you can see it, everything is based on heated square footage. And then um, through the COVID times, we've actually introduced, and it's been so popular that we've just adopted it. Um, we've adopted it. So instead of that, you know, deluxe Matterport package that um, we have an ideal Matterport package, and that's gonna include your Matterport branded and unbranded links your interior, exterior photos, and then your drone photos. And that starts as low as two, $250 um, with square footage up to 2,700. So very affordable package. Um, it's been wildly successful as we've, you know, we've, we've spoken a couple of times about COVID and, and what, that, what that's done to the real estate market. I can tell you in, and th these are pretty staggering numbers, but um, in January, we did 40 Matterports in the month. February, we did 50. March, we did 60. And April, we did 190. So it just completely, it completely changed the game. And then since April of doing 190 Matterports, we've been above 130 the rest every month thereafter. So Matterport, it, it, there, we've seen a significant shift in just purely photos to photos, Matterport, video walkthrough. Um, and, and so it, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing the shift that's happened. Um, we actually, at the start of this year, we had, um, we had five Matterports and now we have 11. So we had to totally reinvest, reinvest in, our, in, our, in our photography fleet to allow everybody to have one of those Matterports because we were getting them in all markets, almost every appointment. So it, it's, it's, it's been a wild shift, um, you know, with, with the increase in technology and the, and the everlasting kind of health concerns right now. It's that 24 seven open house, uh, international buyers can get inside the house, um, you know, and walk through. Um, so really, really cool technology. Um, I hope you guys had, you know, an awesome time and, and got to learn a little bit about how to stage a home. Um, you know, we got to talk a little bit about how the Brave Frameworks uh, was started, you know, what we have to offer, the importance of real estate photography. Um, and, you know, I'd, I'd love to love the opportunity to get to work with you guys. You know, I wish you all the best. Um, and if uh, my name's Blake Knotts, again, um, my, my email address, I don't know what the best way to get that to you guys would be, but um, Blake Knotts at FabreFrameworks.com. Um, our phone number is 813-906-8300. Um, I'm hoping I can get like a flyer flyer over to you that, you know, might be able to get di distributed with, my, you know, my information and, and our price sheet and stuff like that, but I'll get that figured out. Um, does anybody have hey, any Blake? questions? Hey, Blake. Um, yes, sir. Could you put your contact information over in the chat box? Yeah. Yeah, I definitely can do that. All right. I'll stop that. Appreciate there. it. Yeah, for sure. A hey, question on those Matterports. I've seen somewhere, you know how you're walking through the house and you look to the left and look to the right? Look down and some I can't do that. Are you able to do that? Yeah, yeah. So you know, look up like to look at the ceiling and, you know, see crown molding, you know, things like that or yeah, so I can, uh, let me, I'm going to jump back into a screen share real quick and I'll just show you, um, let me show you real quick. So there are a lot of different um, 3D tour apps. Um, so I know in Matterport, you can look down and look up and some of those, some of those are, are strictly uh, three, you know, 360 photos. So right. it's literally just photos that are stitched together and you're not gonna get that, you're not gonna get that, you know, 360, you know, north and south view. 
you're only going to be able to just kind of pan, pan on, on what you're looking at. For, for our matter, yeah, our matter ports are, you know, fully immersive. I'll just go to the website. So like you're at the in the middle of a globe, where you could look up, down, around, and everything. And, and the next spot, the, the next spot that you jump to, it's the same thing. You can look down. So when you look down in the matter ports, and as, as soon as it, my internet will, when you look down, um, the, the Matterport camera is sitting on a tripod. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to blur out the legs. And you'll see it right here. So it blurs out like the tripod legs. But you can see, I mean, straight down from the camera. And here, you can look. You know, you can look straight up. So you can go up, down, around. Oh, it's not showing up yet. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, let me see. Let me stop the share and read. All right. All right. Here it is. I'm new to the. I'm new to this whole Zoom thing. That's all right. Are you on? You can see the Matterport now. No, I just said Blake. Ah, oh, there we are. Now we're good. Okay. Yeah. So this, you can look up, and you can look down, and it's going to blur out the legs there, just so you don't have to see the tripod. And you can click, you know, click over, walk you through, and there you can look up, and you can look down. Again, it's going to blur out the legs. And one of the really cool, one of the really cool features uh, that I like showing folks is there's a measurement mode. So if I have a nice little table that I was, I'm wondering if it can fit, you know, right here on this, this area, I can, on this wall, I can click from wall to wall. And it shows that that wall is three feet wide. Um, so if my table's, you know, less than three feet wide, I know that, that, you know, so for a couch or a kitchen table or, you know, any of those features that people are wanting to move, you know, move over. Um, it's really cool that you can get the measure within within these and, you know, and get that accurate information without having to bring a tape measure and, and pen and paper and all that stuff. And the circles that just changes your location. So yeah, those are all those are where all the different scans. Right. Okay. Those are where all the different scans are for so you can click click into each room. Um, it, it just shows you where you can, where you can walk to with the, with the Matterport. Wow, fascinating. Yeah, it's really, it's really cool. And, you know, like I said, with open houses were, were shut down for quite a while. Um, so having these Matterports, I mean, it's literally, you know, an open house whenever you want at 3 a.m. at 2 a.m. you know on Saturday Sunday Monday you know it's whenever you can just send somebody a link and they get to walk through the home well cool thank you that was a good question Brian does anybody anybody else have have anything Cool beans. Thanks a lot, Blake. Appreciate you. No problem. And I'm going to put in the chat right now uh, my information. Thanks. Thanks. No problem. So that that is uh, that's my information. I don't know where I don't know where Tisa ran off to. <laughs> Thanks.
Now you said you're in the Bay Area? Yeah, yeah. So our, our office, our corporate office is located um, in Carrollwood. So we have, we have uh, photographers, uh, satellite in each of those areas that I spoke earlier. Um, so they'll, they'll go out and they shoot the homes, they upload their photos onto our servers, and then our editors come in the next day um, and they edit all the photos. So we're, we're I mean, we're, we're, pretty, we're, we're pretty much next day uh, booking, um, next day booking, and then you get your photos within 24 hours. I mean, it's next day delivery of photos. So if you have a photo shoot on Monday, you will have your photos before seven that next day. Um, it's, it's next day guarantee on, on our products. And that's, that's everything. So if you do the, you know, Matterport video, you do the deluxe Matterport, you're going to get everything the next day prior to 7 PM. Awesome. Okay. Okay. Now I got to go give me a listing. <laughs> no. And uh, anybody, any, for anybody that's never used us before, uh, on their first appointment, we offer 10% off for first time clients. We want everybody to be able to come in and, and you know, and, and get to use us at a discount just so, just so we can show you the value that we're going to bring, you know, to each of your businesses. All right. Awesome, buddy. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I wish you, wish you the best. I hope you, hope you get a call today about your next listing. There we go. That'll work. Yeah. Well, I got to go make a few phone calls. Awesome. Well, thanks for your interaction, Brian. I appreciate it and have a great day today. Uh, thanks for showing us your stuff. Thanks. Sure. Take care.